What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about Scream 7 in this video here today. So we're going to go over Kevin Williamson's thoughts on this post Nev Campbell made, which gave us the bombshell news that she would be returning as Nev Campbell. Kevin Williamson, who created this iconic franchise uh, with, Ke with Wes Craven at the helm, he's going to be taking the helm for Scream 7. So he's going to get to play with his baby in the most amazing way possible, hopefully. Uh, I do hope that everything goes well for him because I don't think he's directed a lot, but I don't really doubt that he's going to give us I, I don't think he's going to give us a bad screen movie. I, I am still just on the fence about the project until proven otherwise, because I do have my reservations if it's going to be a Sydney centric movie. And yeah, I just want the best for her. But Kevin Williamson is directing Scream 7. He posted this on Instagram to go over the announcement from Nev Campbell. He said, It's been nearly 30 years since my very first script, Scream, was directed by the legendary Wes Craven. I never would have predicted what it would become or that I would be directing the seventh installment of the franchise. I am overcome with gratitude and excitement, and I can't wait to take this journey with Nev and the entire Scream family as we bring back Sidney Prescott in the next chapter of the Scream franchise. Thank you to all the Scream fans. You are the gift that keeps giving. Now, while I'm excited for Nev and Kevin, I'm going to remain on the fence until proven that we, that what we have is a story that does right by Sidney Prescott. I'll just have to trust Kevin and Nev's judgment until proven otherwise, because this is obviously still a lot of damage control on Spyglass's end, no doubt about it. Notice how they had Nev Campbell make the announcement. Why do you think that is? Nev Campbell has a lot more love and appreciation than Spyglass. So her announcing this stuff softens the blow a little bit, so to speak, as if it as opposed to those individuals or that name being attached to the announcement, we're bringing back Nev Campbell. Kevin Williamson's directing our movie. Instead, you have Nev Campbell herself, who felt that she was done dirty with Scream 6, announcing that she's going to be done right with Scream 7. And to them, it just looks better for PR purposes. That's my theory. Now, I'm also going to get into some rumors in a second, but I want to draw attention to two things. One, I tweeted this out a couple days ago that Vanderbilt was gone. And a few of you were like, wait, they never reported that Vanderbilt was gone. Well, or that they were reporting that Vanderbilt was was back. And that's true. Reputable outlets were doing that. But in the midst of that and what was true at the time, that changed. That's why I put it out weeks ago for a while that someone had dropped out of the project despite being reported back. I was always talking about Vanderbilt. And Nev herself and reputable outlets have confirmed that bit of information that I put out. So I'm going to just say scoop confirmed. And I have been stating that again for a while, actually. I even brought it up in my last Melissa video where I stated that I heard Vanderbilt is out and that guy is doing it without him. The next thing I want to draw attention to is Nev's post really quick one more time. As I mentioned, allegedly she was trying to leverage her return to open a door for Melissa Barrera. I'm going to highlight a couple words in this IG post. She says, I couldn't be more thrilled. Well, I actually could. Now, see, it's those last few words there. Well, I actually could. I think those words are in reference to Melissa. And that's all I'm going to say there. You can think what you want. Think I'm crazy. A lot of you reading between the lines with words, too. I think in that instance, she's referring to her efforts to try to help out Melissa Barrera. So here are the rumors I've heard about Scream 7. They are not confirmed until proven otherwise. I don't, I'm not saying they're confirmed. I just don't mind talking about these things because if they're wrong, they're wrong. If they're right, they're right. I don't really think these things are that serious. Courtney Cox apparently is 100% down to return. Not that it's new, but this is from a more recent encounter that Cox had with someone apparently. Now, filming should start this summer. The story is still split in two, which makes sense when you think about it, because it would explain why James Vanderbilt is still credited for the story if it's pulling aspects of the OG draft. One half will obviously be for Sydney and the other half for the newbies that are going to clash at some point with Sydney's story. Now, this Courtney person has also told me that if Seven is successful, this is the part that has me very concerned. If Seven is successful, successful, Nev will be the focus for more going forward. That's the part that will undoubtedly keep me on the fence. It's time for Sydney to just get her peace and constantly interrupting it will lead to movies that lack suspense, lack stakes. And if you grew up watching wrestling during the Super Cena era, you know what that's like and it ain't fun. Scream needs to grow beyond Sydney, grow beyond the characters we know and love, like Kevin was trying to do with Scream 4 and 6 proved that it can. But whatever, I guess they they seem to know best. And ultimately, if the movie is profitable each time that Sydney comes back, they're probably just going to keep her around. 
And from a business perspective, I don't really blame you, but creatively, narratively, it's gonna get dull. It's gonna get tired. Will I watch them? Sure, but it's gonna be retread after retread after retread with movies lacking suspense and stakes if the same outcome happens, which is Sydney beating Ghostface, which is why I've always stated she's not written, she was not created to be a punching bag or to at least go through this over and over and over again. She has something she was trying to chase or attain and that was peace let her have the peace and then shift over into some other group of characters so that way Ghostface doesn't look like a joke and at, at the same time as a viewer how can you take Ghostface seriously if he's always just going after or it is always going after Sidney Prescott the person with endless plot armor who is always guaranteed to get the upper hand and win in the end it makes Ghostface as a threat less credible but of course, people with binoculars on aren't going to think about that. It's just Sydney, 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 Sydney. I love Sydney, but you have to be fair and realistic about it. The other aspect of this franchise that is important is Ghostface itself. That character should be threatening, should be menacing. It's not going to be very menacing if your antagonist is always going up against the same person who kicks their ass each time and they never make it out or never they never make it out with anything but another L <laughs> to their resume. So as for the killers, this is just speculation. I still think that it's going to be Christina, but this part is a rumor. I'm not going to get too specific because I don't want to risk them changing anything. I've heard they are implementing something fans have been clamoring for, and I do know specifically what it is. I'm just not specifically sharing it in this video just so they don't change it. Not every fan is wanting this. It is not related to Stu Mocker. I want to make that very clear. It's not related to Stu, but a lot of fans have wanted them to do this with Ghostface. And it seems like they're doing it in Scream 7. Depending on how it's executed, I think it could go over very well. And it seems it would make a lot of sense given you have split stories allegedly. So it would explain why the stories are going to mesh at some point. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited for Scream 7? Are you not excited for Scream 7? Obviously, the hope in my mind still is that something can be done to get us back on track for the original movie. But that, again, is just me being delusional. I know that. I know that's not going to happen. And I'm fine that it's not going to happen. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.